Welcome. This video is about if functions in Excel. I'm going to teach you a little information about using if functions in Excel. I'm going to go through two examples. In order to complete these examples, I must first teach you how to use if functions. An if function is used as a true or false statement. This means that only one outcome or the other could come out. For an if function to work, three requirements must be met. The first is you must have a condition. The second, what happens if the condition is true? The third, what happens if the condition is false? Let's learn how to write the function. An if condition will be written with the if function first, followed by your condition, followed by your true statement, and then your false statement. For our first example, we have if the condition A1 is greater than C1, we want it to say yes. If it's false, we say no. Our first step is to write down the condition. Now we can begin with writing our if function. We begin by writing an equal sign, followed by the if function. Open parentheses. Now we can write the condition. In this case, it's A1, the greater sign, than C1. Now we put a comma and we write down our true statement. If it's true, it will say yes. Now we write down our false statement. If it's false, it will say no. And we finish it off with a closing parenthesis, followed by enter. Now we can test our function. Here I plug in random numbers to test it. 4 is greater than 5 is false, so it displays no. 5 is not greater than 5, so it also displays no. 5 is greater than negative 1, so it displays yes. I even tried 4.99. That's a true statement, so it says yes. Now let's move on to the first scenario. You have a list of contracts and due dates for annual maintenance fees. You wish to determine when you have a contract due in the next 10 days and provide a note that warns you that the payment is due. I will start this scenario in a new worksheet. For this scenario, we must first set up our due date. After that, we need our today's date. Now we set the due date. For this example, it is 9-25-2012 because it is 11 days after. 
for today's date, I use the today function so the dates can change automatically. Now it's time to put our warning note. By putting it like this, our warning note will never disappear. We only want it to appear if the contract is due in the next 10 days. To do this, we must use the if function. We start with our equal sign, then the if function, followed by open parentheses and today's date. Then we want to add 11 days because we want it to count today as well. After that we put a greater than followed by the due date. Next we put comma followed by what it will say when the condition is true. We will leave our false empty because we do not want to show anything if there is no contract due in the next 10 days. Now we press enter and we could begin testing our function. Nothing shows for September 25 because that is above 10 days. We now move the date to September 24 to make it 10 days. Right away, the warning note popped up. We will now test more random dates. 915 continues to show the warning note. October 15 makes the warning note disappear because it is above 10 days. Now we test September 19 and the warning note pops back up. This is because it is within 10 days. We use the today function so that day could change automatically. Thank you for watching this video. See you next time.